In a recent video, I shared six ways that you can discover and refine keywords for your Etsy listings. Today, I want to dive deeper into one of those, and that is the software called Sales Samurai. I'm going to show you exactly how you can use Sales Samurai to uncover new keywords and also investigate and research the keywords that you do have to make sure you're choosing the right ones to get you the best results in Etsy search. Also, before we get into this, I want to disclose I am an affiliate of Sales Samurai. What that means is if you decide to sign up through Sales Samurai using my link below, I might get a little proportion of the sale price, but I also have a discount code for you to save you some money. So I've got a 20% off discount code for you below in the description. That being said, they haven't sponsored this video. They haven't paid me anything. So I'm giving you my honest opinion here about how useful this software is and how you can best use it. So if you do enjoy Sales Samurai, there is a, a free trial that you can do to start with to see if it's for you or not. But if you do enjoy it and you do sign up, please make sure to use that discount code so you get 20% off the price of Sales Samurai. All right, let's get into the details and show you exactly what you can do with Sales Samurai. Okay, so here we are on the homemade page of Sales Samurai, your all-in-one tool for massive Etsy SEO growth. So here's where you can just register for free. And uh, there's all information here about what it's all about, but you don't need to read that because we're about to show you. All right, so when you log into Sales Samurai, you are going to land here. This is the search page in Sales Samurai. And you can see there's a basic search or a single listing search where you can insert the URL of a particular listing. Let's start with a uh, basic search. So for example, let's say uh, sterling silver earrings, because I make a lot of those, and we click on the search button. All right, once it's had its thinking time, because it's got to go to Etsy and trawl through everything there to bring it over here. Now we have all of the information related to that particular keyword. So here it is, a long tail keyword whether the phrase is long tail or not. So if it's only one word, it's not going to be. A long tail one is one that's usually a couple of words long. And we've got here um, the Etsy search volume. Okay, so 1,170. Now I believe this search volume is per month. Uh, I was actually, actually struggled to find this out. So from the videos I've watched, I believe this is per month. If I discover it, I'll, otherwise I will let you know in the pinned comment. Uh, we've got a click-through rate here, so how many people click through, and the competition. Holy majoli, look at the competition for this keyword. <laughs> See the big red? Okay, so there is really high competition. Look at the search volume, and look at how many sellers are using this keyword. All right, so if you're trying to rank for this keyword, it's going to be hard work. Then we look, we've got Google as well. So it's Google search volume here and Google competition, it's a very high as well. Of course, on Google, you're competing with the entire world. So that's unsurprising. Now, the interesting thing, you know, this tells us this is probably not a very competitive keyword to be using. Sure, we can have it in there, but we probably want to go and look for better ones to add, right? So we've got a couple of ideas here, tags that are related to this, and also suggestions for keywords that are a good choice. And you can you can organize this here by clicking on this and, and organizing them by the search. So Etsy search volume here, 925 sterling silver. Again, the Google competition is high, low, whatever. Etsy search volume, Etsy click through rate for each one. And of course you can click on these and you can save them as a favorite. And then you can research each one of these keywords if you would like to as well, which is super helpful. But you're going to see here lots of, and there's many multiple pages. So you're going to see lots of examples of keywords that you could be using either as well as or instead of that particular keyword and the sort of search volumes those are getting. So you can see that the search volume for this is much lower than the search volume for that, for example. And then as we go down here, you're going to get a little bit more and starting off we can actually get listings that are ranking for this okay and you can go through and investigate those you have the price of all of the listings that are using this keyword so you've got the shipping average shipping time the min max and average and the shipping costs 
So this is really great if you're, you know, you're not sure about pricing, for example, you can have a look at some of the examples. And also, if you are, you know, you, you're trying to compete on price, this shows you, you know, there's such a wide range and you can have a look at each one of these price points and see how much competition there is at that price point as well. So that is all of the information about that particular long tail keyword. And I can organize these by click through rate as well. So look at this five millimeter sterling silver hoop earring. Well, if you sell one of those, look at the search volume, look at the click through rate, right? For that specific long tail keyword. Maybe you want to make one. Maybe I want to make one of those <laughs> and take advantage of that because there's very low Google competition, but it's super high, um, you know, click through rate. So that is really useful as information to have. Now, if I wanted to research a particular listing, I could go to my shop like this and I could grab, let's say we'll grab this one and I'm just going to get rid of all this additional rubbish and copy that. You go here to single listing, pop that in there and search that. Okay. So we have information there. We've got the category, the title characters, words, description, images. Uh, this is an older listing of mine. So we've got how many it's got available, how many likes it has, when it expires, the views, when it was created. Look at that. <laughs> it's almost 10 years old now. Oh my goodness. Um, how long it's been around, monthly views, when it was last modified and the price. Uh, I believe this looks like the US price. It's probably converted because I list in Australian dollars and I wouldn't list in an uneven number like that. And then you can look through here and look at the um, tags that I have for this one. Is it a multi-word tag? Is it a unique category? Is it at the beginning of the title? You can see I've got a couple of them in there. Is it in the description? So now this is super useful because only just recently has Etsy added the description uh, to the search. So now what you write in your description will actually count towards search as well. So if I wanted to optimize this listing, which looking at this, I probably should because it's old and I've got a lot of, this is one I haven't updated yet. So it has a lot of single word tags, which is such a waste of space. Honestly, I'm like, bad past Jess. Well, she didn't know any better. <laughs> I know better now. <laughs> so I need to go in and I need to optimize this by making these tags multiple word tags. And that's where I can use this to then go, okay, let's look at each one of these um, tags that I've got here and then research them and see how I can do a better job. Can I come up with a better long tail keyword for that? Can I just combine a couple together? Now you can see I haven't updated this in years because I actually have oxidized spelt both ways. And that is completely unnecessary these days because Etsy search picks up alternate spellings. So it'll, I only need to use one of those. So oxidized or oxidized, um, to get the search for both of those words. So that is an example of, you know, this is an example of a non optimized listing. Uh, you know, it's still sold over the years, but it's not optimized and I can do a much better job of optimizing this one. I just have to go in there and do the work, which of course I have like 180 listings in my shop. So I'm slowly going through over time and updating them as I go. So that is really great that you can investigate um, that information there. And this is particularly useful because it shows you where, you know, where do you have those, those tags or keywords in your shop and you want to work on having them in as many places as possible so that you increase your relevancy on Etsy. Now, another fun thing about this is it has a Chrome extension. So if you use Chrome, you can install the Sales Samurai uh, Chrome extension. And what that does is when you are on Etsy, so I'll go to my page here. If I type something in Etsy search, watch what happens. So if I type, now see how we have all these suggestions coming up and look at what's happening here. Sales Samurai is connected to my Etsy shop because I've connected it obviously in the software. And now it's giving me all this information right in Etsy. So it's telling me the search volume for this tag and it's giving me 485 more suggestions for keywords that I could be using related to this one. 
So this is a really good way to see the search volume of, so I'm going to finish this. I'm going to put ring because I make a lot of rings. And there we go. Oxidized ring men, 25. Oxidized ring, 93. And then there's a whole bunch more. If I click on this, I'll show you what happens. So it brings us over here to this page. All right, so now we have a ton of related searches or possibly related searches. We have the search volume, the competition, and how many words is in it. So then I can look through this. I can actually, up here, you can see I can filter it down. So must contain oxidized Ooh. filter. All right, so boom. Now it's taken it down to just the suggestions that include the word oxidized. And so there's tons of examples here of that. There's not really, and I can see, you know, there's not a whole bunch that I could possibly use. Maybe silver oxidized jewelry would be one I could add to that listing, right? That's related to it. And that is a nice quick way to kind of experiment and find more. And you can see over here some previous ones that I've done doing the same thing. And this has just brought this up right here on Etsy. And if I want to go over to South Samurai to do more investigation, of course, I can do that as well. So within here, they have a bunch of tutorials, which will guide you through using all of the different elements, which are really is really useful. That's where your shops connect is. So that's my shop. I'll just skip over that. <laughs> Private data. Um, listing creator. So you can actually create a listing from within Zell Samurai and kind of do your research as you're going. You can track competition. So if there is a shop or shops that you want to keep an eye on, you can actually put them in here and it will allow you to look into and investigate what they're doing. What are they doing with their you know, keywords? What are they doing with their listings? And then your favorites are here, of course. And then there is a profit calculator for your pricing and a return on investment calculator. If you decide to do some advertising, you can see what your ROI might be there. And finally, your calendar for anything that's happening all over the world. So you've got some ideas for uh, special events and things like that, which is fun. But yeah, the search, I think this is really interesting. Uh, it's very, it's simple, it's straightforward. It's giving you the basic information you need. Um, you know, you can then click on one of these listings and you can go look at it on Etsy and check it out, see how it's going. Uh, you can favorite it to keep an eye on it if you want to. And of course, it's got all the details here. So you can organize these listings by number of views, which is what it's default to the number of likes. OK, which totally changes things. Uh, the price. And this is where you can see the vast <laughs> difference in price for items, which is why you cannot compete on price on Etsy. You have to compete on branding and quality and SEO as well. So obviously you want to be somewhat competitive, but you can't try to be the cheapest because it's never going to pay off in the long run. So that is the basics of what you can look for and the, the, you know, the keyword research that you can do in Sale Samurai. I hope you found this one useful. If you did, give me a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future videos. Let me know in the comments below. Do you think this is going to be useful for you? Are you going to give it a try? Or if you use it already, let me know what your favorite feature of the software is. And of course, don't forget about that discount 20% off if you use the code I've got below in my description when you sign up. Now, if you missed that video on six ways to discover and refine your Etsy keywords, here it is. You can go check it out now. Hope you enjoy that one as well. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.